The Bahama Convention Center filled last night with our number one industry's best and brightest, all vying to win the prestigious Cacique Award. Altavis Munnings has a recap. A long line of individuals stood at the entrance of the Bahama Convention Center's ballroom Saturday night to enjoy the 17th Cacique Awards. And from start to finish, the ceremony was truly enjoyed by all. The British Colonial Hilton Hotel nabbed Supervisor, Sales Executive and Chef of the Year. Monique Taylor of Comfort Suites Paradise Island is Cacique's Manager of the Year. The Junkanoo Commandos secured Cacique's Creative Arts Award. West End Grand Bahamas Stratacular Designs won the Cacique for Handicraft. Cacique's Hotelier of the Year is Dean Spichala of Valentine's Resort in Harbor Island, Eleuthera. The People's Choice Gospel Award went to Rocky and Uncle Sam, also of Harbor Island. Double Cacique Award winner for People's Choice Secular and Writing, Fanshawn Taylor Evans. Sustainable Tourism Cacique winner, Sean Ingram of One Eleuthera. And Human Resource Development Cacique winner, Evelyn Pender Dames of Grand Bahama, were all humbled to win. I wasn't even worried about winning. It was just the fact that I was nominated, you know, so it's a major milestone in my life. And boy, I hope it's more to come. <laughs> the hardworking staff, it's recognizing the work that they do every day to for the community and for the wider community of the Bahamas in the region. And I know that this will go a longer way in, in my resume, in my development, and, um, and I will continue working hard. International Cacique Awards were given for Travel Writer and Tour Operator of the Year, as well as Airline of the Year that was secured by Bahamas Air. Bahamian musician Phil Stubbs won the Blue Ribbon Panel Award, and the Tourism Minister's Award went to veteran musician Wilfred Solomon. The Clement T. Maynard Lifetime Achievement Award went to owner and proprietor of the Great Cliff Restaurant, Enrico Garzaroli, who's been a tourism veteran since migrating to the Bahamas from Italy in 1972. So you have to adapt yourself to the new trends. Keep evolving, keep evolving, keep evolving. I ain't got a lot of awards, but this one is very particular because He's in the Bahamas. Tourism's Director General Joy Gibralou and Permanent Secretary Charles Aubrey believe the Cacique Awards truly enhance the stellar reputation of our number one industry. When we go out into the world and we sell the Bahamas and we talk about the beauty of it, but these are the people who just make it what is so special. And I'm just going to talk about, I mean, there was the travel writer, um, the international travel writer, and she talked about the people of the Bahamas, that to come here to feel the warmth of the people and the welcome of Bahamians, that you can't get anywhere else. Putting persons on a pedestal, those who really committed to tourism and provide a service that guests really enjoy, and let others see that this is the benchmark. Altavis Mannings, Zeta Nesnet, Technique.